It sure feels like summer now. Hmm. A good... But a momentary... Um, speaking of which, we seem to keep missing out on the discount grape juice at Don Winery. Oh, Paimon has a hunch that today will be the day. If we leave right now, maybe we'll get there in time. Shall we get going? Hey, stop! Who are you? You don't look like citizens of the Immanacht Reich. Explain yourselves. What's your purpose here? This place even comes with guards! Uh, what are you doing? How can you prove that you are Her Highness's retainers? Such an absurd question betrays your ignorance. May my people be freed from the shackles of ancient decrees. The, that's the password of the Immanacht Reich. They really are Her Highness's retainers. Oh my goodness, we didn't know. Please forgive us. Now step down! Y yes, we're leaving now. They're gone. This is the second volume of Hymn of the Holy Land. Everyone ready? Bring it on! However, the Immer Nachtreich soon became plagued by a perpetual nightmare. Tasrak, the wicked dragon, infiltrated the subterranean, crossed the bottom of the sea, and eventually came to roam above the capital. Huh? A dragon? The only thing I notice is gloomy weather. Could the dragon be some kind of metaphor? If that's so, her arch nemesis Tasrak, the wicked dragon, is made up of everything that opposes her and rejects her fantasies. their peril, the people prayed to the Soteria. Illusion shattered! A touch of frost! Let's light it up! Yeah. 
As you wish, me, Fräulein. From whence you came! I'm going in! No rest for the wicked. Shine down! Submit for judgment! through the darkness. Pave the way for thy princessin with the truth thine eyes behold. All that is lowly escapes my gaze. It is but a mere illusion. Is this to say that a flaw unseen is a flaw that does not exist, main Fräulein? The princessin descended to confront the dragon, but the great battle was certain to damage the castle. For the wicked. A touch of frost. Shine down. My <laughs> <laughs> royal fourth, my clear. <laughs> Illusion shattered. As you wish, 
Inazuma shines eternal! A touch of frost. There is no escape! Let's light it up! Teamwork is dreamwork! We go! Adventure time!
Finally, she pierced through the dragon's scales with thundering retribution and spoke to all amid a downpour of the dragon's blood. She said, Sounds familiar. Is it that not Robin Ritter fella again?
Oh, thank goodness. Huh? What are you guys doing here? We should be the ones asking that. What are you doing here? I'm sorry you have to keep seeing me in such a wretched state. I suppose I'm still not good enough to play the role of a qualified Nocturne Ritter. Play the role? I'm ashamed to admit it, but I'm not a real knight. Rather, I'm a new actor who recently landed a job to play the role of a knight in a theater troupe. That's not really something to be smug about. Ah, well you see, that's where you're mistaken. Theater is an essential part of Imenoctorag's culture. A fantastic theatrical performance is the greatest tribute we can pay to Her Highness. Oh, so this is your local culture? Exactly. So I'm delighted that I got to play the knight. Why does the princess enjoy the theater so much? Her Highness once said, Celebrate me by staging a play in the wilderness. Bow down to me and bring me beautiful dreams in return for everlasting glory within the eternal darkness. I believe it is because Her Highness appreciates true art and can also sense emotions hidden deep within the souls of humankind. The crystallization and sublime expression of emotion is the heart of theater. People who truly understand theater always have a beautiful, sensitive heart, filled with a rich array of emotion. Oh, so that's how it is. Thank you for your answer, Sir Knight. Uh, oh, th thank you so much for calling me a knight. <clears throat> so, basking still in this honor, I will be off to my battleground. May we meet again. Hopefully not. Be more careful in the future. Oh, and please remember the password to unlock the gate. Upon my command, spread your wings and take flight!
Upon my command, spread your wings and take flight. My most esteemed father and mother, today is celebrated as a festival in the Imanakreish, and I hope you can both spare some time. <sighs> Amy, come on now, darling. You can't be carrying on like that at this age. You're a big girl now. It's time to forget the fairy tales. Uh, but... Oh, and I almost forgot to mention... I've bought you a new set of music course books. Give them a read, won't you? You should dedicate your time to something more... meaningful. Oh. Uh, okay, Mom. I, um... I understand. We're back again! I believe we have just witnessed the true nature of the Wicked Dragon. Uh, this is something I am all too familiar with. There are always people who believe that our passions are a waste of time. Huh? You're... Ask me for directions, Arnold! Uh, I mean, you're back. Why? Oh, but... I came because I bet you'd be looking for the third volume of Hymn of the Holy Land. Well, you bet right on that front. You need not do anything for me, my dear lady. The opportunity to behold your beauty is the finest reward I could ask for. I shall give you the answer you seek. The third volume of Hymn of the Holy Land can be found on the top floor of the royal castle. Is it guarded by anyone? Oh, 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 but of course, sir. What sort of question is that? No nation would treat its most treasured books as if they were just cast out into the wilderness. That means we will still find Nachtraben guard stationed there. It is a citizen's utmost honor to guard the sacred scriptures. But it matters not. I'm quite sure the fine lady merely seeks to peruse them and has no malicious intentions. Your face is captivating and full of wisdom, and the company you keep appears to be heroes of some renown. I have the utmost faith that you will be able to comprehend the meaning behind the stories in our sacred scriptures. Her Highness's accomplishments were documented by Oz, the great secretaire, and became great treasures of the Immernachreich. I wish Her Highness joy and happiness every time I read those books.